jurors heard from just two witnesses, a senior scientist at a pharma company who cut off a deal with Theranos because their supposedly revolutionary machines didn't work, and a former Theranos lab director who talked about a patient who increased her blood thinner medication because of a Theranos test and after she said she didn't feel right and started getting bruises on her legs and arms. That Theranos test turned out to be inaccurate. But the details that captured the public's attention the very most, Elizabeth Holmes' diary entries obtained by CNBC. In them, she wrote about becoming Steve Jobs. Here's CNBC's Scott Cohn. Steve Jobs died in 2011, but his spirit lived on at Theranos, where Elizabeth Holmes emulated him from the black turtlenecks to the lofty aspirations. First they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. In a cryptic series of notes to herself in 2015, obtained by CNBC, she writes about becoming Steve Jobs, though the context isn't clear. Looking back, do you have any regrets about all of the Steve Jobs comparisons over the years? The comparisons were everywhere in Holmes' heyday, and they were a powerful draw for employees like former lab director Adam Rosendorf, who testified he joined the company in 2013 because he thought it was going to be the next Apple. He would resign 18 months later, convinced he said that the company cared more about public relations and fundraising than about patient care. Holmes' attorneys have been aggressively cross-examining Rosendorf for three days now and counting, including confronting him with emails from Holmes herself directly responding to and addressing the concerns that Rosendorf had claimed had fallen on deaf ears. He'll be back for more testimony next week about a company that definitely did not become the next Apple and a CEO who did not become Steve Jobs.